as we are going to have a keyboard interaction to try to start and stop a movie. So when we start the touch designer, first we can just close the palette window. And then we can also use the P function key to close the parameter window. After that we can just remove the sample program except the output window. Before we start working on any projects, there is the good practice that we try to create a project folder and then give it a proper name. The default location of your project folder will be in the desktop. So for this one, we try to use, for example, like keyboard 001. And then we rename the file with the same name, that is the project name. Since we are going to play a video, so in this case, we might need to create a folder called movie to put all our videos there. So when we click create and this project folder will be created in your desktop and then we can just save and then we can go back to our desktop and open the project folder inside this movie folders we can try to copy any one of the mp4 that you have and put it over there yes then we can go back here there are two ways that we can import the video into touch designer one of the simplest way you can go back to our project folder keyboard 001 in the movie folder we can drag this one directly onto the touch designer project it will create a movie file in object and automatically play back the video if you do nothing you can just connect this one to the output window and as a good practice we always go back to here the perform window and then switch on the parameter window to choose the opening size to fill up the whole screen and remove the border as well and once we get back to the project folder that's the project one when you click on the perform mode you see the full screen display of your video that is with no effect and nothing there just the video and if you would like to go back you can just click your escape key or press your escape key to return to this edit mode so now we're going to proceed to use the keyboard to control the playback of this one in order to control the playback when you press the p key actually there's a button around here with the name called play so the default one is on and if you press off it will stop the video and if you press on again it will play back the video this playback on off button is just a number zero for off one for on so in that case we can choose from our create dialog by pressing the tab key that in CHOP there's an item called keyboard in so now you select the keyboard in and put it on your movie in when you click the keyboard in with the parameter window open you can see that it says a parameter called the first key that is the key on your keyboard that you pressed and you also have number of keys by default it's one but if you have more than one for example if you start with one it will enable the detection of the first one one and the second one two so on and so forth and if you do not want to use one you can choose whichever key you want to have for example i can choose zero instead of one 
and to test out you can just press from your keyboard the zero key it will turn it on off on off so now we have the on off button that's the key number zero and we also have the control over here with the playback on and off how we can link them up together we're going to drag this number zero or one and put it over there in order to work it out is again another good practice to use a now chop a now chop perform nothing but some kind of placeholder for you to record your data the reason of using this one is sooner or later you may insert something after the keyboard in for other purposes so in that case you did not need to redo your dragging of the functions again to the playback of the video okay so let's proceed with the actual changing the number from the keyboard so the way to do that is pretty simple you first click on your movie box and then in your now chop that is this one and you may need to turn on one button on the bottom right corner that's the name with the viewer actives over here once you turn it on you cannot make change to this box and on the other hand you can transfer this number over here so you can also see that when you put your mouse over this number it's turned into another cursor rather than the normal one like this and that so once you have this you can click on your left mouse button and the cursor turn into a right hand side arrow you can drag remember this is a drag without releasing your left mouse button and put it over here once it reached the destination it's turned into an arrow with a plus size now you release the button and then choose the first option export chop and this way you are linking up this number to the options over here so at this moment is zero you can see that it's turned off and after that you can again reset this we will button from the now chop so in order to validate if this is working or not you can try out in your keyboard press zero you can see the number one over here and the movie is playing back like this and when you release the button it stop at that particular moment and you can further try out in full screen mode pressing zero holding the button it play back the movie release the button it stop so we get back to here so this is our first exercise trying to use the keyboard key number zero to control the playback of a movie that is a digital movie with the use of this keyboard in and the now chop 